Fiscal third quarter earnings from Coherent, an interesting quarter from an interesting company deep in the world of AI. I'm Corey Johnson, Chief Market Strategist from the Futurum Group, and I'm totally biased on this one because I own the stock. So, I, you know, this is not investment advice. I may be completely wrong. I probably often am, but I just want you to know what my bias is before we talk about this company. I think this company is really interesting, not for its uh, optical network gear and lasers that connect telecommunications network, although that's historically been a good business and is not a good business now, because that same equipment and same technologies are being used in data centers to move massive amounts of AI to really short distances using optical uh, transceivers. So Wall Street, of course, doesn't get into this. They look at a beat and a miss, and this was a beat. The company had $1.3 billion, $1.2 billion, I should say, in revenues. Um, 53 cents in earnings is better than the expectations of Wall Street. Uh, but the margins for this company uh, going forward might not be so strong. And indeed, they said that um, there is continued uh, macroeconomic uncertainty as well as uncertainty in their telecom business, uh, which is slower than they had expected. But the reason I'm so interested goes beyond the headline numbers. Now, look at the revenue number. Uh, down 3% is better than we'd seen in previous quarters for this company, uh, showing that things are getting a little better. And well, margins weren't much to write home about, 2% operating margins. Positive operating margins is good for this company compared to where they were only a few quarters ago. Now, this company, for their industrial work, their electronics work, their instrumentation work, their lasers, their optical networking gear is so big in the communications field, in all kinds of communications. And the thing that really drove them this quarter was uh, the AI data center work that they're doing. Uh, the AI uh, companies building out AI data centers are finding they can't move information fast enough. These short distances, it matters so much. And that's why they're selling this optical gear, uh, this coherent optical gear into the data center. Um, and and the the growth there was what they talked a lot about in the conference call. When the, when the numbers came out uh, for the earnings uh, in the quarter, what they said was that the, uh, you know their guidance was optical uh, um, numbers are were really good, but the margins were not great. So initially, stock went straight up after hours when they reported numbers. The next morning, when the company uh, actually did their conference call, the stock sold off. So it was up 10% in after hours, down 5% for the day, and for the year, 74%, a pretty good year. That might tell you a lot about profit taking and things like that. But let's talk about their products specifically. So within the world of optical networking, there's, there's big interest about what's gonna, what the hot product is right now. The standard has been 400G. The cutting edge available and interesting to only a few is 800G. And the hope is that someday there'll be 1600G. Now you can all do the math, 800 is twice 400, 1600 is twice 800, but the technologies are really different. 400G typically uses simpler techniques for moving information, uh, pulse amplitude modification over four channels or four levels, so PAM4 is what's used for the 400G. 800G uses something very different often. There's something more complex like a, an 8QAM, a quadrimere amplitude modulator or modulation. Um, in any case, uh, over two lanes that are, 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 are multiplying those by four to get the 800G, and the 1600 might do some, some of the same kind of modulation adaption as opposed to uh, adding new lanes. So uh, it's it's super interesting stuff. 600, 1600G doesn't really exist outside of the lab right now, but what was really interesting in the conference call is it's, they suggested a coherent, the coherent strength in 800G is actually becoming the market standard right now. The 400G, which lots of companies make, is old hat. And so let's hear not from the CEO, I like to give you the CEO often, let's hear from the EVP of datacom transceivers, Lee Zhu, who came from their Finisar acquisition uh, from a while back. Lee Zhu talking about how in the marketplace, people don't want 400G, they want 800G and they're willing to place long order, long lead time orders to get 800G. What we see is that in, indeed there's some kind of uh, uh, squeezing out effect as people are putting more money uh, on 800G for uh, AI expansion. Um, there's some <coughs> uh, of the capex for normal networking uh, is squeezed out. Uh, but, but we do see that uh, in a few quarters start to uh, uh, go back uh, up, uh, uh, but overall, you know, people might, uh, you know, switch to 800G for their normal networking uh, in addition to uh, using uh, on AI. So normal networking one 800G, AI one 800G, that's really good for Coherent, which specializes in making 800G in the data center. All right, what's it all mean? A big takeaway and one number that tells a whole lot. I've got that for you. 
You might be able to guess the number. I'll have that for you right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. Fiscal third quarter earnings from Coherent just reported. Here's the essential summary, your drill down earnings takeaway. So I'm conflicted. I own the stock. This is not investment advice. You're a fool to listen to me, but uh, I want you to know what my bias is. $1.2 billion in revenues, better than expectations. 53 cents in earnings per share, better than expectations. Uh, paying down a bunch of debt, saying their customer uh, landscape is uncertain in all the fields they sell to, except for AI in the data center, where they're having great success. And the product that they are maybe the best at is the one number that tells us a whole lot. 800 is the number because 800G uh, optical transceivers are doing well for coherent in AI sales. And uh, that may be uh, the most important product in the market for this company. All right, thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. Check me out on X at Corey TV. Drill Down Earnings, part of 6.5 Media.